Real Madrid 2, Chelsea 3. Chelsea win the game in normal time 3-1. And then a stupid mistake, a stupid piece of ignorance costs us and Karim Benzema sends them through to the next round. I don't know whether to be proud or to be frustrated because what happened today should not be happening. It is unacceptable. And because this is an accumulation of things. The first leg, the Mendy mistake. The second leg, Pulisic with two golden opportunities to win it at the end. Kai Havertz with a header, Jorginho with a chance. You do not deserve to go through to the final two or four of the Champions League when you waste opportunities of this magnitude. And it, I don't know why, but I'm still proud. Welcome to Chatting Breeze. And honestly, I am speechless. I don't know where to start with this because this is why I love football. This is why I'm on, I have this channel. This is why I'm here at the dawn of night when I need to be up at 5.30 to study and go to my day job. I'm here recording and I'm gonna spend it editing and I'm gonna post this for you around about 12 o'clock UK time. So imagine this, I'm gonna get five hours sleep and go to bed to wake up, to go to work. Yet, I am here and I'm proud and I'm smiling for my team. But we need to get into the nuts and bolts because Chelsea outclassed Real Madrid. Chelsea were the better side in my opinion and Real Madrid survived. They didn't get through convincingly, they survived. And this is what champions do. And at the end, you could tell the difference between Chelsea Football Club at this moment in time and Real Madrid. Because the Modric's, the Benzema's, the Carvajal's, the Alibas, they all had the know-how how to waste the time, how to articulate the ref, to manipulate the ref to get decisions. Ref was a joke. And let's get into the good, the bad, and the downright ugly, because today, I've got a lot to talk about. Peeps, hit that like button. We're aiming for 400 likes. Like I told you, I need to be up in five hours and I'll really appreciate if you guys do me a nice one with the algorithm tonight. So hit the like button in the comments below. Tell me how deflated you are because this has absolutely destroyed me. I think we need to start with a good. And when we start with a good, I think it's important that we talk about it in chronological order. Thomas Tuchel won us the game today. Thomas Tuchel's tactics won us the game today. And the reason we won this game is because Thomas Tuchel is a bloody mastermind when it comes down to any one off tie. This man played a diamond with two up front. We played a four with a diamond and two up front. When we had the ball, we went to a three at the back with Ruben Loftus-Cheek on wide. And that, for me, absolutely helped us suffocate their midfield. They couldn't work it out, they couldn't handle it. And it's not a surprise that when it went to extra time and you take off Kante, you take off Mateo Kovacic and their legs are gone, the backup players aren't good enough to produ produce that system because the energy is not there, the intensity is not there. And for me today, that was the difference, the managers. Tuchel's the best manager in the world, I'm telling you now. And why did the first goal come? First goal came from a moment of brilliance from the tactics of Thomas Tuchel. Chelsea get the ball, it goes to Ruben Loftus-Cheek, he's in the middle, almost in the number 10 position, links off lively with Werner, Werner's first touch hits his knee but it runs off to Mount, Mount beautifully slots it into the corner. Mount overall did not have a great game in the final third, but Mason Mount had a very good game in taking his opportunities, good delivery from set pieces, and more importantly, the pressing levels and the energy from Mason Mount today was phenomenal. And RD, I know you're watching, and you better keep watching, by the way, you're a guy from the comments. Wait till I get to your boy, Christian Pulisic today, because Mason Mount today was exemplary. This is why I see a lot of people say, money makes for captain. I don't agree with it. But you know what? After today's performance, after today's minerals, he deserves it. Chelsea absolutely bossed the whole game. And in my opinion, in the 90 minutes of football, Chelsea's midfield was suffocating them. And it was coming chance after chance. And when Chelsea went in at 1-0 up, I was a little bit disappointed. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. Imagine that. So we get a corner and we've been bossing them from corners all game. We were by far the superior side. If they get through to play Man City, which they already have, by the way, Man City are going to cook them. I'm telling you now, this is going to be very one-sided. Manchester City are going to humiliate them. I'm telling you now. And what happens in this situation, in this scenario? The ball comes in, we take a shot it, from Rhys James, it didn't hit Modric. It was never a corner. It should have never been a goal. Yet, the corner comes in from Rhys James, uh, from Mason Mount, another assist by the way. Rudiger gets his head on it, 2-0, and I'm going mad. When I tell you I'm jumping up and down on his sofa, I am going mad. Another positive for tonight was Timo Werner. And Timo Werner's performance today, 
alongside Kai Havertz up top was one of two hyenas. These hyenas were a phenomenal. They were consistently pressing. They were harrying, they were linking, they were vicious. And Timo Werner exemplified that opportunity that he got today because every opportunity he got, he was direct, he was positive. And hopefully this is the kickstart of Timo Werner's career at Chelsea because Timo Werner has talent. The only problem with Timo Werner is he lacks the physicality. And today, once again, Timo Werner, for his third goal, he's making the runs in behind. They don't release the ball to him. Ruben Loftus-Cheek doesn't release the ball to him. Kante doesn't release the ball to him. Kovacic finally released the ball to him. And guess what happens? Timo causes problems. He puts Cavajal on his ass. He comes in, takes a shot, and it nestles into the bottom of the net. 3-0. I am thinking we're going through. It was that bad. I couldn't celebrate too much because I was scared he might be offside. I was scared he might be offside. The final good, and the good for me has to be Reese James. Reese James, and Reese James had a shaky 10 minutes. When he first started and got booked, Vinny had him on toast. Beans on toast, spread. Reese grew into the game and Reese actually pocketed Vinny for majority of the game and then Vinny at the end got the better of him. But Reese overall on a yellow card, well disciplined, well organized, very good game. One of a man that isn't 22 years old. We are going to be in Champions Leagues for years to come as long as we maintain Reese James in this side. Then you start looking at the others at the back. For me, Alonso actually played very well today. Alonso had a great game, a goal that was disallowed, and I think it was fairly disallowed. I, I don't want anyone to come on and say Alonso's goal wasn't, it was meant to be a goal. It hit his hand. It was one of those moments. This is a Champions League classic, and you can't be winning games when Alonso's hand manipulates the ball for it to go. And for me, Chelsea should have won this game in regulation. Chelsea should not have had OT needing to win this game. It's ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, the bad. And we need to talk about this, and a lot of you aren't going to like this, right? Um, the performance today from Chelsea in front of goal at times was horrible. And the reason I say this is because... Big occasions are settled on big moments. And when it comes to these big moments, it's win now. The script had to be perfect. Thomas Tuchel told you beforehand. It ain't perfect when you've got Christian Pulisic. Regulation, two opportunities, not one, but two missing clear-cut chances. His performance today stunk. When he came on, he was absolutely shocking. Couldn't beat a man, couldn't release the ball, couldn't make his decision on time. Terrible finishing. What he done on the pitch today stunk. Are we going to blame him for the loss? Maybe not. But today, his decisions stunk. And we didn't take those opportunities in a criti critical moment. And we took our foot off the pedal. And this is exactly why we got punished. And what happens when you don't take your chances? Angola Kante tries to attempt a stupid pass. I don't understand why in the middle of the pitch. And guess what happened? We get the ball drop into Luka Modric. Outside of the foot, magnifico, ella bella, turi fruity. Absolutely beautiful, and Rodrigo finishes it with the class personified. Class personified, absolutely amazing finish. I was blabbergasted, and a lot of people are saying that you're gonna blame Engie today. You're giving Pulisic a lot of criticism. Engie's performance in the 90 was phenomenal. You clowns, you absolute idiots. NG was phenomenal. He put one foot wrong in 90 minutes. Pulisic put no foot right, let alone foot wrong. He was lives in the wrong. And then we need to talk about the final goal. And this is the bad as well. Ruben Loftus-Cheek had a decent game. He did a lot of the tactical side that Ruben, um, Thomas took was from him. But Ruben Loftus-Cheek isn't physically designed to play this game at the top level, in my opinion. He's not quick enough. He's built like an ox. He's a tank. When you've got possession, it's fantastic. But when it comes back to transitions, I don't know what I'm looking here because for me, it really frustrates me. And it really irritates me how many opportunities we had to clear that chance. But Ruben didn't take Camavinga out. Ruben did not take the fresh Camavinga out because Camavinga had 15 minutes in his legs. Ruben had 910 most probably in his legs. And then Vinny makes the decision. Rudiger slips at the epitome or the, like the right moment. And it frustrated the life out of me. And the downright ugly, by the way. The downright ugly. The referee. Someone tell me how the referee is not the downright ugly in this situation. The referee didn't give us a penalty for Timo Werner, didn't give us a penalty for Kai Havertz, gave us a goal from a corner kick that was never a corner kick. Multiple Madrid players were time wasting, multiple Madrid players were kicking Kai Havertz in the chest, in the ribs, yet nothing. 
The minute Chelsea come out of place, all of a sudden, everyone's getting yellow cards. Don't give me that nonsense, I've had enough of it. Chelsea are out today, but Chelsea should be proud of themselves. This was the Gaff Guys video, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you liked this video, I hope you enjoyed this classic, because this is what we're going to be telling our kids about. This was Chelsea versus Real Madrid, this was the Champions League. This was amazing.